I think people have learned to keep their expectations under wraps when thinking about APEC. Uh, at one time, this was uh, a very important forum for um, market openings. Uh, the Obama administration would like to um, make it that again, and so is um, working to advance something called the Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, which uh, it um, believes uh, is a free trade area uh, that's appropriate for the uh, 21st century. And uh, it has been working feverishly to um, bring that about. In the early 1990s, uh, the United States, uh, through the Clinton administration, was in the lead in using APEC as a, uh, a vehicle for trade liberalization and market opening. Then, um, after the Asian financial crisis of 1997, uh, the free trade action was more within East Asia itself. And there have been a large number of uh, free trade agreements um, negotiated among various countries. Uh, the countries of, the, of ASEAN, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, uh, did one that uh, went into effect last year. Um, and uh, the United States was basically shut out. Um, we recovered somewhat with the free trade agreement with South Korea, um, but the Trans-Pacific Partnership is really our way of getting back in the game. One of the aspects of this meeting that, that makes it very useful is that it's not only a uh, a meeting of senior economic officials, but heads of state, heads of government also um, uh, attend for purposes of the leaders' meeting. And I expect that um, uh, the problems in Europe will be a subject of discussion, at least in the corridors, um, at both, uh, both meetings. Europe is looking to China uh, to help fund um, the, um, this bailout package. China has been pretty coy so far and said it's really up to Europe to address its own problems. That tends to be uh, the view it takes towards the United States. Um, so uh, it'll be a subject of discussion, um, but it's not sort of front and center on the agenda. China, for example, is already working very hard on green technology. Uh, Japan is doing a lot of interesting work. Uh, in some respects, um, uh, these two countries are ahead of us. Um, and ahead, or China is ahead in a way that uh, uh, creates problems for us because it seems that maybe China is doing this more to capture market share than it is to reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions. And that uh, that's certainly good for China, but it misses the point a little bit about w why this is important. Since China is the leading emitter of greenhouse gases, um, uh, the world is looking to it uh, to take measures on its own to, to reduce those levels. Um, also, it, if um, U.S. firms can contribute uh, uh, to China's work on, on green technology. Um, um, the administration would like to see them be able to participate on a, on a fair basis, but it seems that China is taking some steps to um, do this on their own for commercial reasons rather than environmental reasons.